Hello friends! So as you can tell, I've been making some DIY embellishments for Halloween. I actually was able to use a lot of my scraps from last year. So that was, I thought that was a great way for me to use my scraps and also make embellishments for this year's crafts. I think I'm going to do the same thing for Christmas this year. Although I have a lot more Christmas stuff in my stash. Anyways, so I mostly used obviously punches mostly my big circle punch and my mason jar punches um and i also used a lot of the tissue paper which i had a lot of fun with um so, so you know like this i used from a kit i bought from coco daisy and i had some green from someone who sent me happy mail i also got some streamers at um, the local store and try to use some of that. I haven't played with this that much so I'm not that happy with how they, it was harder for me to work with these but I still had a good time. I also used a lot of my word stickers that I still have that I got from Michael's last year. So I'll just show you and oh and I also used a lot of these stamped images that a friend of mine had sent me through happy mail so I went through my happy mail also from last year to pull out some um, things so you can just see that I did make quite a bit and I had a lot of fun and I started making a few crafts already and it's I made it a lot easier and fun or <laughs> more fun to make some mail so I'll just show you the rest very quickly. And these are also some doilies that a friend sent me last year in a loaded bag. And I have a few more here too. So I use a lot of the mason jars. And I use this embellishment kit got from Michaels. Some of them are really simple, like these are obviously very simple, but I wanted to make different sizes, so yeah. So this is what I made, and I haven't made that many DIY embellishments, so but I, I know I've seen a lot of people who have and wanted to try it out. And something I used with it. I actually made a flip book already. I'm actually ahead of schedule, which is amazing. Um, I'll show this in another video, but this is, um, I just put this on the cover of one of them. And this I punched out from an old paper pad I had in my stash. I also made a mini loaded envelope. So I used this here. And I also, the funniest thing is when I bought these from Michaels, I thought I was going to have a hard time using them, but they're the most, I've, I mean, I've used them the most in all my crafts um, that I've made so far. So, and this was, I just got, I'm, sh you know, you can draw it out or cut it out, but this was something I had from last year from Target. They were the, you could fold them to make it like a 3D um, grave. And this one. I just cut it out so I can easily just cut out more of these and it's very simple I'm gonna put a word sticker on here and this is this is a really simple card but just an example of I just stuck this on there and I thought I think it looks cute for just a simple card and some other things I did I cut out some of this paper that I had bought and I just put some the epoxy stickers that I got and also this one was kind of hard to cut but I stamped this um, on some cork contact paper so I can show you they were kind of they're kind of hard to cut um, but this is just an example and then it's sticky on one side they're kind of thick but that's another thing I made so hope you guys are having a good time making Halloween crafts and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.